Car will be ready by Friday. Whatever. The bag of stuff by the door is yours. What? It's all this. It's all the crap you've left here. Take it. This is a necklace I gave you. You mean the leash? No, thanks. Peyton, come on. Look. My mom's gonna cool down and everything will be back to normal. Okay, trust me, the last thing I want with us is normal. In case you haven't noticed, normal sucks with us, Nathan. Peyton, is this about your car? Because I'm taking care of that. It's not about the car, it's about you. I finally saw you clearly for the first time last night. The way you treated me, the way you treated Tim, the way you treated your brother. Don't call him that. And the way you're playing that girl. What? Are you talking about Haley? Is that what this is about? Peyton, she means nothing. Okay, if that's the case, then you're an ass. And even if she does mean something, you're still an ass. And what's really sad, Nathan, is that you're too stupid to get that. So thank you for being such an amazing son of a bitch last night. You really made this a no-brainer. I'll call you when you're not so PMS. Don't bother. I mean it. We're done. So get the hell out. I mean it. Get the hell out. beginning to think I would never see you again. Yeah. You're avoiding me, right? A little. Luke, I was just trying to help. You just, like, jumped down my throat. We've always been able to talk about stuff, you know? I just had this crazy idea that if you could see things from Nathan's side, <sighs> you're just a real pain in the butt sometimes. At least we can still be honest with each other. Yeah, at least. So if anything were going on with you, anything important or weird or confusing, I mean, you could still be honest with me about that, right? Yeah, of course. I can't return to you. You must return to me. You left that baby's car. I'm sorry. Did I say I'm sorry?